Indiana State women's basketball team paid a visit to Assembly Hall on Sunday afternoon. While some may think it was just an ordinary in-state matchup, the contest definitely had more significance than that. This was the first time that IU's new coach, Terry Morin, faced off against the program that she led for four straight seasons. It was nice to see them. I mean, you know, I know that um, this was just not a regular game to them um, either. It was fun, you know. Uh, we don't feel any uh, type of way towards Coach Moore. You know, you got to do what you got to do. But uh, I think this is what uh, basketball is for, you know, just to go out there and play hard. No matter who it is, you know, we prepare for this game just like we did any other game. It's just playing against Coach Morin made it a little bit more fun. Joey Wells, the new head coach at Indiana State, had nothing but positive words to say about Coach Morin and the program that she left behind in Terre Haute. Everybody knew the situation, you know, um, and um, uh, again, uh, from a staff standpoint, uh, I have nothing but respect. And, and again, she's a deal friend of mine. <laughs> uh, so we tried, we wanted to take some of that emotion or stuff out of it. You know, uh, as coaches, we talk about playing with heart, play emotion, or you know what I mean? But you want to do that at the right time. Just like any game, Coach Morin talked about the fact that there are still positive takeaways despite the disappointing loss to the Sycamores. Learned a lot of great lessons. Uh, I think this is good for our basketball team, our young basketball team. Um, we've got to take, um, uh, get back to practice and take away some things from this game. Um, and um, hopefully they'll prepare us for a really good Boston College team on Wednesday. I'd say cleaning up our passes and working when we're down the stretch in games like that. We just need to execute and make sure we get shots off that we want and aren't um, rushed and take bad shots. From Assembly Hall, I'm Brennan Farkas, Hoosier Sports Night.